Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss 0-1 knapsack problem using dynamic programming. The problem is, apply dynamic programming technique to the following instance of knapsack problem with the capacity m is equal to 5. Already, the same problem we have discussed by implementing the recurrence relation. That is V of i, comma g. Using that recurrence relation, we have followed 6 steps to find the solution. And if you are considering that solution procedure in the sense, that is little bit lengthy. So, now we will discuss the simplest method to implement the knapsack problem using dynamic programming approach without using that recurrence relation. Okay. So, here they have given four profits and these are all the remaining capacities 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the i value and the number of objects is 4. So, here since they have given number of object is 4, we need to consider 4 plus 1 row. Okay. Since we need to consider i equal to 0 also. Similarly, the maximum capacity is 5. We need to consider 5 plus 1 column since we need to start with the value j equal to 0 also. So, how many items they have given plus 1 row we need to include for i. Similarly, plus 1 capacity we need to include for j. And here, if you are considering in the sense of profit and weight, the first item profit and weight is profit is 12, weight is 2. Second item 10 and 1. And third item 20 and 3. Okay. And fourth item 15 and 2. So now, if you are considering in the sense, when i value equal to 0 and j value equal to 0, meaning is the capacity is also 0, there is no items to include. In that case, the profit is also 0. So, the complete row and column, we have to include by default profit is 0. Okay. Next up, consider the weight of the first object. The first object weight is 2. Okay. And here weight is 1. Is it possible to include into the NAPSA? No. The capacity is 1 only, but the first object weight is so, obviously, we cannot able to include this object into the knapsack when the remaining capacity is 1, that is j value. Okay. So, when this object you can able to include, when the capacity is equal to or greater than 2. So, when j value is 2, obviously, this item we can include it into the knapsack and profit earned is nothing but 12. When j value is 3, only this item is available. Okay, we are considering only the first item. Okay, so when j value is 3, 4, 5, all these cases, only one item. So, include that item and enter that profit. So, obviously, profit earned here is 12. One. Okay, so here why we have not included? Its weight is 1, but object weight is 2. It is greater. So, capacity is 1 only, but weight is 2. We cannot able to include. Okay, next up consider the second object also. Now, we need to consider both the objects. Okay. And find the profit. So, both the object weight is 3. When j value is equal to 1, if we are considering in the sense, item 1, it is not possible to include because its weight is greater. Okay. Only item 2, we can able to include and its profit is 10. When j is 1. When j is 2, if you are considering, Either we can include item 1 or we can include item 2. Which one earns maximum profit that we can include? Okay. Which one earns maximum profit among these two? Object number 1. So, include object number 1 and enter the profit. Okay. Next case. Weight is 3. Both the object we can able to include. Capacity is 3. This weight is 2 plus 1. Its total weight is also 3. So, we can able to include both the items into the knapsack and the total profit we can able to earn. So, the total profit here is 22. Okay. Then, when weight is 4 or weight is 5, only maximum possibility is these two objects only. So, include it. So, the profit earned here is also 22. Next, consider three objects. Okay. All this three objects now we need to consider. Now, when j value is 1, it is possible to include only object 2. Object 1 weight is greater than j equal to 1. Similarly, object 3 weight is greater than j equal to 1. 
So it is possible to include only object 2. So the proper term here is 10. When j equal to 2, it is possible to include object 1 or object 2. But object 3 it is not possible to include. Why? Its weight is greater. That is 3 compared to j equal to 2. So it is not possible to include object 3 here. Either we can include object 1 or object 2. Which one earns maximum profit that we can include it. Okay. Which one earns maximum profit? Object 1. So evaluate. Next. When weight equal to 3 if we are considering in the sense. Either we can include object 1 and object 2. Both if you are including weight is 3 only. Maximum capacity is 3 only. Or object 3. Which one earns maximum profit that we will include. But all three we cannot able to include it here. Okay. So here if you are considering object 1 with 12 profit. Object 2 with 10 profit. So totally 22. Either these two objects or object 3 with 20. Which one earns maximum profit? Object 1 and 2. So profit earned here is 22. Okay. Next if we are considering when capacity is 4. Either we can include object 1, 2. 3, if we are including in the sense, it will exceed the maximum capacity. Okay. Either object 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. That is possible. Okay. But 1 and 3, it is not possible. Since its total weight is 5, it exceeds this J capacity. Okay. So, either 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. Which earns maximum profit? 2 and 3 earns maximum profit. So, we can include object 2 and 3 and its profit is 30. Okay. When the capacity is 5, we can include 1 and 3. All three objects it is not possible to include since the total capacity is 6. Here available capacity is only 5. Okay. So, we can include object 1 and object 3. Okay. Or otherwise object 2, 3. All the combinations if you are considering in this sense. So only object 1 and 3 that turns maximum profit. That profit is 32. Okay. Next step. Consider all four objects now and we need to compute the profit. Okay. So, when weight equal to 1, it is possible to include only second object. So, profit earned here is 10. Next, when weight equal to 2, we can include object 1 or object 2 or object 4. Whichever earns maximum profit that we can include it. Okay. So, object 4 earns maximum profit. So, we can include object 4 and the profit earned here is 15. Okay. Next, when capacity is 3. We can able to find different combinations. Okay. Object 1 and 2 we can include. Or 3 we can include. Or 2 and 4 we can include. Okay. So all these combinations if you are considering in the sense. Object 2 and 4 if you are considering in the sense. That turns maximum profit. That is 25. 2 and 4. Next. When capacity is 4 if you are considering in the sense. It is possible to include 1 and 4. Or 2 and 3, that is possible. Or 1 and 4, if we are considering in the sense, profit is 27. 12 plus 15, 27. 2 and 3, if we are considering in the sense, profit is 30. So, include 2 and 3. So, profit is 30. Next, when capacity is 5, it is possible to include 3 and 4 or 1, 2, 4. All these three objects we can include. And its profit if we are considering 12 plus 10 plus 15, that is 37, we will get it. If we are including 3 and 4 in the sense, profit earned is 35 only. Okay. So, the maximum profit if we are considering in the sense, we include object 1, 2 and 4 and its total profit earned is 37. So, here if we are considering in the sense, we have considered all these 4 objects individually as well as combined also. We have considered by comparing with the maximum capacity and to maximize the profit also. Okay. Now, if you are checking in this adjacency table in the sense, the maximum profit earned is V of 4, 5 and the total profit earned here is 37 and this is nothing but the optimal solution. And the objects if we are considering in the sense, x1, x2, this is representing the objects, that is the items. 
I1, I2, I3, I4 that we will represent like X1, X2, X3, X4. And if that particular object is included into the knapsack in the sense, we need to consider it as 1. Otherwise, we need to consider it as 0. That is what it is 0, 1 knapsack. Okay. If you are selecting and placing that particular item into the knapsack in the sense, consider it as 1 to maximize the profit. And it should not exceed the maximum capacity. These two constraints we need to consider. Okay. If that particular object is not selected to place it into the knapsack in the sense, consider it as 0. Okay. So, accordingly, if you are considering in the sense, we have selected object 1, that is item 1, item 2 and item 4 to maximize this profit, that is to get the optimal solution. Okay. So, consider x1 is 1, x2 is 1. And X3, we have not selected to place it into the knapsack since it doesn't maximize the profit. Okay. So, consider it as 0. Next, item 4, if we are considering in the sense, we have selected to place it into the knapsack. So, make it as 1. So, this is the optimal solution and these are all the objects we have included into the knapsack. So, this is the solution for 0 1 knapsack using dynamic programming technique. And this is the simplest method. This is simply a mind calculation we are implementing to find the profit and fill it in the table. Okay. And then find the optimal solution and the set what we have selected to place it into the knapsack. Okay. So, this is the simplest approach to implement the knapsack problem using dynamic programming. And here to implement this problem, we need to consider two main constraints. One is Select the object to place it into the knapsack such that it should not exceed the maximum capacity and also the total profit earned should be maximum. Okay. So, by considering these two constraints, we will implement this problem using dynamic programming approach. Thank you for watching this video.